Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rainy and this is the Enchanted Planner. How's it going party people? It's uh, Monday. We're going to do an after the pen this week because I try and get these guys to you once a month at least, right? Get them into the rotation so you can see how the process works. So the first thing I generally do if you've never seen one of my after the pens before is I will sit down and do a big old brain dump. And I will note what events there are this week, what bills I need to worry about, and then I will start on everything else. And there's a lot to get through this week, so that's how we're rolling. Okay, so we're going to take this off the disc. So that's my last brain dump. And let's have a look here. So the first things we need to do is write in the events. So Monday... I wish there was an International Women's Day sticker. There might be in my stash. Let me have a look. Well, that's a complete bust. Um, you'd think that a planner company that solely has a female audience would have a sticker that says International Women's Day, but apparently not. Okay, so we, okay, so I need to note what else is going on on Tuesday, not much. So I'm gonna put my girlfriend's birthday in here and that I do know I have a sticker for <laughs> and then we're gonna put inter national Okay, so we've got that done, that done, and Sunday, it's 12 p.m., all right, so that takes that off, so no spectacular dates this week. I got to, I got the housekeeper invoice. Where do I want to put these? I'm trying to decide because I really like this spread and I don't want to mess it up with like random stuff everywhere. <laughs> I've never, I don't think I've ever done a Mulan spread before actually. So I quite like this one. I'm like, this is so cute. Can we just leave it and not have me write in it? But this is not the way things work. All right. Um, I need to, I'm going to write this over here, so we're going to make nail appointment. Apparently I wasn't going to finish spelling. Um, and I'm going to put dentist underneath it because I really need to get it the damn dentist. Um, oh, I forgot to put that in. Hold on. I didn't have them all. I found one afterwards, so... Um, I don't want to put that here. Let's put it down here because this is going to be something else. I know what I will be listing there. So. Um, I don't know what time it is. That's a really good question. I will have to find out what time it is, but I can take that off the list. I can take that off. Okay. We need to, um, my focus, I think this week, I think it's going to be my office. I can't function in here and it's not very zen. It's not feeling very zen right now and I just can't handle that. I'll take that off. Um, those are miscellaneous things. stuff okay now this morning of course I know I've got to start filming me after the pen so that can go on here and then I think that is it it's gonna go directly onto this list for right now so we're going to throw these 
back into the planner. And we're gonna do a bit of rearranging here because I don't know why I did it that way, but it's all good. This is my today marker. So that goes right between those two. All right, then we're gonna go into my health section, which is the no drama llamas. And we need to throw down our water already. And then we have um, that for that. And then we're going to go into my journal. Now, I don't normally write in the journal while I'm on film because it takes a long time and these videos get really long really fast. So what I do is I usually just come in, like I go online and I'll type in March journaling prompts, for example, or February journaling prompts. I'll find one I like and then I print it out and I just keep it in the monthly section. So the question for today is how comfortable are you with confrontation and asserting yourself? Do you frequently find yourself saying yes when you'd rather say no? I don't really have that problem anymore. I um, have become very comfortable in my own skin, if you will. There are still times, not to say that I never do it, there are still times occasionally where I will end up saying yes to something that I regret later because I did it to show support for someone or, you know, something along those lines. That's usually what happens, right? But for assertiveness, I don't, I mean, I don't think really anyone likes confrontation, but I'm okay with it because I look at confrontation now in an aspect of a business meeting if you think about it that way because as a business owner I've had to learn to navigate a whole bunch of things confrontation being one of them when I've got stuff I've got to deal with with staff or customers and clients or other businesses these things need to be addressed we just always have to try and remain in the right head space like I there's certain times I've actually avoided talking to a staff member about something because I've not been in the right mindset and I would it would not have been a good meeting it would I wouldn't have been a good leader <laughs> I would have been short tempered and you know judgmental and just not cool so I those there are those occasions where I will wait and um, just wait until I'm in a better headspace okay so this is last week so we're gonna move this I don't know why I'm putting that back on there that makes no sense considering I have to write into it yeah, I tell you, being a business owner has changed a lot of the way I handle just general life, general things in life. All right, this area in my dashboard is where I write in what is going live on what day on Facebook. So today is the Feb flip through. Tomorrow is spring mood board. Uh, spring bucket list. Vertical. And then dashboard. And horizontal. And then health. That is horrible writing, but it's all good. Okay. And then on each day, I will note which Instagram post goes where. And then on this side is where I will track my stats, which I need to do, finish off last, last week's stuff. Um, so today was 1039 and then I don't know what that Instagram is but the other Instagram is 536 and then I'll have to go check that one but um, that is what I use the section here for so I'll write that in in a bit and then in here I will put usually my filming list and then I use this side for stuff that's noted like I've got other things that need to be done. I will tell you um, 
think I mentioned this in one of my other videos. I had been trying to use this planner for both this channel and then my health and wellness business. And it wasn't working because there was like too much in it. Like just there was, it was too thick. So I broke it all out and I put it into a separate planner. The problem is, is I never, ever reach for this freaking planner. So then I took it and I put it back in here, but again, it was too thick. So I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. So when I went into Michael's yesterday, I'll mention that I was not impressed with having to pay $22 a book for sticker books, but I did notice they had the black metal expander discs. Now I don't particularly care for expander discs, as you will know, because they're too big. But in the meantime, I know Deb has grabbed me some arc. I think there are arc ones to, you know, to get to me to see if they make any difference. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to try using these, putting it all back on one planner and seeing how it goes. Because I reach, I'm in and out of this planner constantly. Like, this is my ideas section. So I just make little notes as I go about ideas I have. This is where I track the entirety of, oh, I've got to check all those off. This is where I track the entirety of the production process for all of the videos. So, I mean, I'm in this book every day, multiple times a day. I'm in this one as much as I'm in my classic, in my vertical, or sorry, in my catch-all. I was trying to get to the right word, <laughs> trying to get to the right word, but, you know, so I've, I've got to do something because it's currently not happening. It's not working. I do not have full planner piece, so we're going to have to try and rectify that, right? All right, you guys, that is it for uh, today. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Ciao. Morning, good morning, good morning. It's Tuesday. Bright and early, you know, typical stuff. Uh, let's head to the health section. So yesterday I had steak, baked potatoes, quinoa salad, and cauliflower for dinner. Fill in the rest of my water. We're good. Okay, so... Breakfast this morning shall be yogurt, and I haven't figured out the other part yet, so I will fill that in after. <laughs> just, just getting started this morning, and it is early, so let's go to catch all. Um, I was in and out of this planner yesterday, adding stuff because yeah, just crazy. So we got that done, that done. Weekly brainstorm was done. Now, from the list, yeah, I got to make a nail appointment and meal plan today, but what else we got on the go? What else have we got on the go? Um, mm, I need to focus some attention on that damn website, so we are going to put website. And I do need to go to the dollar store, so let's... I need to get um, a spray bottle. I don't normally head to the dollar store for very much, but empty spray bottle. It's kind of what's on the agenda. Oh, I forgot to journal yesterday. I should have to do that. Okay, so uh, today's is what is your favorite part of your body and what do you like about it? So I will journal yesterday and today uh, in a while. And I will share that with you tomorrow. Let's head to the social media planner. This planner got a lot of action yesterday. Oh, I can't do things, apparently. Okay, so I can take off my little reminder. <laughs> um, I got, yeah, I need to create filming space. I've got, oh, that got done. That's good. Finish, finish. Yeah, I got quite a bit to get done today. I'm going to get all my um, social media scheduled for March um, for Misfit Fitness because I totally, I don't know how I missed it. And I realized yesterday when I went to Instagram to share or when I went to my scheduling software to put in an Instagram post for National International Women's Day, I went, why don't I have any social media scheduled? And I went, oh, shit. <laughs> so that's, that's where I'm at. So this morning, I think, okay, so... Um, I'm going to go just simply March social media. It's pretty much a top priority. And then I want to work on the website. And I need a wellness Wednesday topic. It's the plan anyways, unless things change. 
No, this one is taking time. Okay, that is it for today. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Ciao. Hello, party people. How's it going? It's Wednesday. It's actually like 10 o'clock in the morning. This is like the first moment I'm opening my planners today. It's been a rough start to this morning, man. I tell you, it's been a little bit crazy. Slept in and, you know, that just sort of sets things in motion. Oh, I didn't even finish filling in the rest of my health stuff yesterday. So let's fix that, shall we? All right. So I got all of my water in. Okay. And then uh, yesterday for lunch, I had a wrap with a chicken and greens and then for dinner last night we had chicken and rice and cauliflower and then this morning i had a bagel and a french vanilla because i was just needing a little bit of a pickup this morning and ironically i now have like the jitters because I haven't had one of those in a while and my body's like woo look at all that sugar and caffeine <laughs> like little freaking vibrating people okay so let's go to the daily okay so all right yes it was international women's day did I meal plan yesterday I did not did I make a nail appointment I did not did I get to the website no okay so all of that's going to end up being carried forward um today I want to go to Michael's and I'm going to do that shortly so I think we're going to go to Michael's and the dollar store um I did text Trina so that's done what else have I got on the agenda oh I know what I did yesterday so uh just to make a note I Clean the refrigerator. Are y'all like me? Do you like putting stuff on your list that you've already done just so you can check it off? <laughs> Makes you feel good, right? <laughs> I got some stuff done. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what the hell I did yesterday. I know I did do a lot of stuff. Do I remember what it was? No, but yesterday was one of those. I think I opened my planners and then didn't get back to them because I was doing other things days. Did I do any filming yesterday other than the after the pen? No, I didn't even do that yesterday. So I, I got nothing, people. Okay, so Michael's is the big thing today. And then we're going to go to the dollar store. So I'm going to cross that off of there and move that over. And the only thing I need at the dollar store is a spray bottle. Unless I can find one at Michael's while I'm there. So that's our big, big game plan. Like, you know, once again, I have a truckload of things I want to get done this week. And I don't know about you, but I put way more on than I can possibly get done in a week. You feel me? Right. What's going on in the journal today? I did journal. Apparently I did this late last night for tomorrow morning. So it was, the question was, if I could go back, where was it? If I could go back at in time and change any moment what would it be and there is a particular moment in time i would change that is for sure okay there's probably more than a few. All right, let's look at the social media planner for today um spring bucket list went up oh that's what i did yesterday <laughs> a reminder in here i know what i spent yesterday doing i suddenly realized when i looked at my misfit fitness instagram that none of my March content was up. Apparently I spaced and I forgot to get it all into the scheduler. So that is what I did yesterday. And that takes a good couple of hours because I've got to sit down and I've got to have the posts and then I create them all and edit them all in Canva and then we go from there, right? And that takes a while and then I was sitting editing emails. So that is what I did yesterday. Um, I've edited and scheduled. Well, they're not scheduled yet because i got to go in and do a last few things. Um, I'm almost finished with that and then that. So we're working on, okay, that got done. And then I've got to film these guys. All right, and then what else have we got here? Not much. All right, that is a wrap for today, you guys. I will see you all on the flip side, my loves. Ciao. 
morning, pretty people. It's what damn day is it? Thursday. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh gosh, it's all good. We're here. It's all good in the hood, man. Okay, so yesterday for lunch I had a chicken and greens wrap. And then one dinner was chicken breast. We eat a lot of chicken in this house, man. Um, and quinoa. Which was good. Love my quinoa. Oh, water. Agua. I drank so much water. But yesterday I thought I was going to freaking float away. I was just super thirsty. I probably drank like, I don't know, 15 glasses of water yesterday. It was crazy. Right, so let's go to this side. I just have to leave this little note here for myself or sometimes I start filling out my planner in the morning and I'm like, ah, shite. Okay, so this morning I hit the Tim Hortons again because I was in a hurry. Okay, so <clears throat> oh, my voice is going to go out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and I don't really have much in the house right now. I was on my way home and I'm like, oh, what am I going to have for breakfast? I'm like, well, I have yogurt, but... I need more than just yogurt for breakfast. I mean, it works in a pinch sometimes, but it's really not a complete breakfast. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look at yesterday. <clears throat> I spent... Oh my God, I did not get to Michael's. I did phone them though, and apparently they don't have stock out of the store yet. Because the location I have to go to is kind of out of my... It's not super far away, but it's far enough away. I don't want to waste a trip out there with the gas. Especially when it's at $2.14 a freaking liter. And I think there's like... 3.87 liters to a gallon or 4.4 liters to a gallon. Wait a minute. There's 4.4 liters to a gallon in Canada. I think the reverse in the U.S. is like 3.87 liters or something. In a so yeah, do the math on that, people. Do the math on that. And that's how much our freaking gas prices are right now. It was 2.14 a liter today. I was just about shit myself. Sorry. I was like, what the? Okay. So yesterday I worked on the brand book. because I've got some stuff going on for relaunch and I did not get to the website copy, but I did call and book dentist appointments and I rescheduled my Abby appointment. Oop, that didn't work. Apparently, I'm going Addy instead of Abby. So now it's room. <laughs> okay, hold on. My Abby hospital visit. Okay, that takes care of that part. Now, let's look at the ever growing to do list. Um, I still have to do that. Calendly is done. Um, I did do some digital decluttering, so we're getting there. Um, I did sort of semi-declutter the master bath, but I'm not finished yet. I started working on the closets. I don't know if I told you that was absolutely hilarious. So I pulled everything out of my closet and then I put it all into categories. Like if it was, you know, hoodies, it went to one pile. And if it was more like a jacket, it went to another pile. And if it was more like a casual t-shirt, then it went in that pile. And inevitably I realized I have still, I still, I still have a massive problem with hoodies. I love zip up hoodies. Um, I also have a massive problem with tank tops and I have a girlfriend who shares the same affliction. <laughs> I was telling her this story the other day. She's like, oh my God, you and I are so bad for that. I'm like, you think? But I didn't end up actually getting rid of anything. And here is why. I'm taking my business in the direction where I will be doing a lot of front facing video and I'll need to be able to dress a little bit, not super business type, but a little bit like casual biz or business casual, I guess is probably the best word for it. And I don't know what I'm going to freaking eat. So I don't want to get rid of anything. So, but I have way too many freaking clothes. And the funny thing is, is not that long ago, I didn't purge my closets, but I purged like all of my drawers and I still have too many clothes. I think what it is too, like we have to look at some of this stuff, like from a coaching perspective, I have to look at this objectively. Like if I was my own client trying to figure out why I have such an attachment to things. And you know what I think it is, is when I was a kid, my mom um, was a single mother raising her girls um, on social assistance, which is welfare, right? She didn't start working until I was much later. So I did my journaling today. And I'll get back to the story in a second, but some random acts of kindness that I can do this month or send a few th nice thinking of you cards and pick up the phone 
and you know pay for someone else's order in the drive-thru like pay for the person behind me you know the pay it forward thing right so we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that so anyways finishing with the story we didn't have much when I was a kid and like I was not the kid that very often got like the newest hottest trendiest whatever piece of clothing so I think that's what my attachment to clothes is I think that's what it is. And I don't have expensive taste. Like I shop at, I get a lot of my clothes, my activewear and stuff from Walmart or not Walmart, um, Costco, because we're pretty much in Costco every week. And I'm, I'm not a fashion type of person. You know, every once in a while, I'll go out and buy a few pieces for my collection that I, you know, are timeless pieces, right? But yeah, I don't have a fashion bone in my body. I'm not one of those people that has to have like you know, the best of the best or Lou, um, La Boutons or, you know, I don't even own any freaking Lululemon people. So, but yeah, I think that's what my, I think that's what my struggle is. So I'm gonna have to dig a bit deeper and pull the layers back on that one. Um, did we get much done here yesterday? We did not because I worked on the brand book. I didn't finish it. So I'm going to give it a half because I got about three more pages left to get done. But what's going live this morning? Oh yes. My exciting um, oh, I know what I needed to do. My um, leprechaun spread. Uh, let me put this pick for plan with me TV, and then I'll post another one today. I don't know why I just didn't do that. Doop, derpy, derpy. But yeah, <clears throat> that I think is what my um, and why I'm stuck with clothes. I think that's what it is. Funny, eh? All right, you guys, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a great day. Ciao. Good morning, party people. It's Friday. It means the weekend. Not that that means much in our world. Well, my world, because I work from home. I mean, granted, I don't work as much on the weekends, but... Well, actually, that's a lie. I try not to work on the weekends at all anymore. <laughs> Done it for too many damn years. Okay, so what did I have yesterday? Oh, yes. Hubby came home early and totally derailed my afternoon. <laughs> I forgot he had a dentist appointment and figured he was going back to work afterwards. But yeah, no, he decided to come and hang out with his wife. So we went to Costco and I had chicken strips from Fat Burger, which was pretty awesome. That name for that business has all really, always really bothered me. Like, it, it's so subjective. Like, Fat Burger could mean like it's a thick, fat burger. Or it could mean that, you know, it's contributing to weight problems with people. Like, I don't ever know how to take that name. However, they do have really damn good chicken strips. I will say that much. Okay, so, and I found out that they source their chicken locally. And I found that out by accident because when we had all of the flooding here in BC, you couldn't get chicken strips because their chicken comes from the farms that were out in the valley that ended up underwater. So I was like, well, that makes me happy. They're not like sourcing like fabricated frozen food that's like been I don't know but it made me happy I was like isn't that a happy accident I can't get my chicken strips but I do have confirmation that they source their product locally which made me very happy okay not to say that, that I could open a can of worms on ethical treatment for animals but we'll do that another day I try not to contribute too much to that problem but we're also trying to live in a very expensive bloody society so it's a catch-22. I, I got nothing. We'll cover that topic probably at some other point in a rant. But as this is an after the pen, these videos get a little long. So I try and keep them a little on the shorter side. And then we went to Costco. So we bought a big, we buy the big, big package of strip wine. Then my husband cleans it up and cuts it all into steaks. Because the first one we bought, it worked out that the steaks were about five fifty dollars a piece. It was a really good price. We got about 18 steaks out of it. Um yesterday when he cut it up he made the, the steaks a bit thicker than he did the last time so we got 15 steaks so it worked out to about 10 bucks a steak which was a really good price okay so steak and I had a baked potato or half a baked potato and uh corn so that was that this morning I am on a Tim Hortons run this morning for some reason I, I don't you know what it is I got nothing in the house that appeals to me so on the weekend, I need to get my ass to a grocery store with a meal plan and figure out because, you know, it's not that I, I go through spurts. Like I'll have like Tim Hortons for like a few days and then I won't touch it for a month. Right. But it's still expensive and my body really doesn't need all that extra sugar. Okay. 
Um, I totally spaced and missed this bloody call because I got on the phone with a girlfriend. And yeah, so that sucked. So I'm going to have to watch the replay, which just sucked. Fred did do his dentist appointment. Um, I'm just going to note here that we went to Costco on Thursday instead of the weekend. When hubby went to Costco last weekend to fill up our tanks, there was a $40 um, fuel limit, which when gas is two bucks a liter doesn't go very far when we went yesterday there was no limit so we filled up my truck and my truck took 80 bucks and it wasn't on empty and we filled up an entire jerry can so yeah Costco and gas and then yeah I, I got very little accomplished yesterday afternoon because my plan was to do everything in the the afternoon and yeah that didn't happen with hubby around all right so today i need to film something for wednesday and um the vertical if i can get to it so we'll leave that there um oh i know what i need to put in here i'm so freaking excited plan with me TV <laughs> with Michelle. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be so much fun. So much fun. I mean, you guys will see this on Monday, but you know, and then we'll be in this week, which I'm very excited about. And um, Carrie, Katie, one of you mentioned that I should probably switch out some of these boxes to match this. I may very well do that. I might because it is a little out of balance we've got the color down here but we don't have it up here so good eye girl good eye um okay so journal let's go to the journal this morning what was the prompt this morning prompt was um is there anything you still haven't told your parents well well, there are several things, but the problem is, is well, I'm assuming my father is dead. I haven't seen him since I was like three. We call him the sperm donor. Um, uh, my mom died in like 2007. So if I'm talking to her, it's beyond the grave, people. It's it's in the spirit world. So if I have anything, and really, I mean, there's some stuff that it would clean my conscience, I guess. I don't know. How do you deal with things like that? So I'm going to roll that one around in my brain and we'll see what I come up with. Who knows? That's one of those, what do we do when we live in a shoe moments, right? Okay, let's take a look at the social media player. Player, planner. <laughs> I'm just a player today, a player. All right, I need to be on this side. Um, I didn't get any of this done yesterday. Not a word, because my husband was around. Okay, so we kind of know where we're sitting for today. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Ciao. Okay, party people. <laughs> it's actually Sunday. I didn't get back to my planners yesterday. Sometimes that happens, right? I think I may have thrown some minor stuff in here. Yeah, I noted my food and stuff. So let's finish this off. We had pizza last night. Neither one of us wanted to cook. So I had my margarita pizza. I have not been tracking my water all week, but they're done. <laughs> well, except for today. These are all done. Keep forgetting that this is here. I'm skipping a few too as I'm going, oops. All right, so we've had three so far today. All right. Um, this morning, I'm not feeling that great. I don't know if, I don't know, I just feel off. So I literally just grabbed a piece of cold pizza for breakfast slash lunch. Because it's actually quarter to one here now, so... I'm going to put that in for both of them. I'll probably have another piece, but I'm not. I'm just feeling off. I don't know why. Happens every once in a while. Okay, so. Oh, I missed that. Damn it. Um, yesterday we went to Costco. Which is done. And that was about it. This has been a really, really lame weekend for productivity because I'm just not in the mood. I haven't done my journaling yet for today, but the question is, what is the best compliment someone could give you? And for me, my love language is affirmations. Like if you're familiar with love languages, I'm not a gifts person, although I do appreciate them, but I am more for affirmations. I love giving affirmations as well. All right. Sorry, I had somebody running back in the door. I had to pause there for a second. But as I was saying, I'm an affirmations person, so I would rather give affirmations, and I do, too, and get them. That's kind of my love language. 
So basically the, the best compliment somebody can give me is telling me how much they appreciate me or how much they appreciate the little things that I do, right? That, that's my kind of thing. So that would be the best compliment somebody could probably give me is that I'm really good at that stuff. I just realized, I gotta flip back over here for a second because there is something that did not get done yesterday that needs to go on this list and I need to go to the grocery store. But I don't wanna mess up Sunday, so I'm just gonna put it here. Grocery store. <clears throat> so I gotta get some produce. We have meat and stuff in the freezer, but I don't have any produce, so. All right, let's rock and roll and take a look at the um, today, wherever the heck that is. Uh, yeah, horizontal went live and so did my health. And then I got that filmed. I got that filmed. I've got to do the rest of them. And then I still have to do this stuff. So that is a wrap, you guys. Again, um, I try and do these for you guys every probably once a month just to sort of show you how I go through the process of using my planners on the daily slash weekly slash daily and give you an idea and I'm out of frame. Sorry about that. Hopefully I wasn't out of frame on the other stuff. <laughs> okay. I'll uh, see you guys all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Drop me a comment down below um, and let me know how you use your planners because I'm curious. There's not a lot of us that do sort of the writing in the pen thing. So I'm always curious to see how others use their planners. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time. Ciao.